Director of Campus Recreation. Today is day six for me. So uh, I get to help present this budget. Um, and so because of that, uh, Justin is also along here with me. He has been the interim director this year. And he is also uh, our senior associate director. So I will turn it over to him to start us off. All right, well, thank you guys for having us. And, and like always, we really appreciate getting the opportunity to give you guys a quick rundown of what we are, what we do in Campus Rec, and, uh, and also uh, what you graciously fund us each year uh, through the student, student service fee. So to talk just really briefly about what Campus Recreation is. So it's, it's not, a lot of people um, always equate us as just being the Morse Recreation Center. There's so much more uh, to Campus Recreation than just the Rec Center. That is a major part of it. That is the hub of all of our activities. But um, we've also got our King Sport Complex that we just finished our brand new beautiful tennis courts that are completed. The same Volleyball Complex is supposed to be finished this week. Um, as well as that's where all of our intramural, outdoor and intramural sports and club sports take place. Um, the Great Outdoors is at the wonderful area outside of the building where the pool is. Uh, the pool, the outdoor courts, uh, and currently the same, uh, a couple of sand volleyball courts. Um, the mat court, uh, we were able to turf the mat court over and saw a huge increase in numbers of usage from students this past year. Um, students playing soccer, students throwing football around, uh, playing outdoor volleyball. Uh, Matt Court has been a great addition to our facilities and getting it turfed over this past year was a huge, uh, huge thing for us and a great success. But intramural sports, club sports, our fitness and wellness programs, um, as, well as, and as well as our outdoor adventure programs. So that is campus recreation in a whole. Um, not going to go through every single little bit of numbers, but just to give you guys an idea of what our numbers have looked like through the fall semester. Um, to highlight a couple, we did have almost 35,000 unique users swipe into uh, the, the Morse Recreation Center. Uh, we, we jumped up to almost 600 uh, unique users at our Mac Court, a um, little over 600, close to 700 in intramurals, a little over 700 in fitness and wellness, and just on the climbing wall alone, about 850 unique users. So we see a lot of students that come in and utilize our programs uh, throughout the year. These are numbers just through the fall semester. Um, but as you can see, we are heavily heavy heavy on the student side of what we do and uh and what we do for uh for the campus to get into the actual funding request we're trying to catch you guys back up on time so we're going to get through this um most of the majority of our budget does come from our dedicated rec fee which started about four or five years ago i wish i had some more historical context to tell you about that but with me being relatively new um, dr newsom being new autumn being brand new um, we know that it started up a few years ago, and at this point now, pretty much every student that is in, unless they're a fifth, maybe sixth year, seventh year senior, um, is paying that uh, dedicated recreation fee. Uh, and we'll talk about what that fee is in a little bit. Um, but we still are requesting money from student services. We're not to the point, um, and not sure if we will completely ever get there. Enrollment numbers need to shift back up for us to even be able to have that discussion of whether or not we jump out of student service fee completely, but for the time being, uh, we're still requesting uh, $271,050. I mean, that is covering salaries only. We've been able to enroll all of our programming out of student service fee money. Uh, two years ago, I think was the last year, we still had our intramural programming budget came out of student service fee plus salaries. Uh, so each year over the past three or f actually the past four or five years, we decreased in the amounts that we have asked for student service fee. Um, knowing that we've started to get more on our dedicated rec fee side um, and knowing the constraints that student service fee has, so we're trying to decrease each year what we ask uh, out of student service fee. That 271000 does come to cover salaries and benefits um, and longevity for our directors, one of our associate directors and two of our uh, administrative associates. Um, those positions, they oversee the department. All of our programming, our marketing, our assessment, um, student staff development, and our administrative support. So here's a breakdown of the request. It's a little over 200,000 in salaries. Uh, the benefits are a little over 64,000, and the longevity um, is sitting at $4,000. So that is our request of what we're asking for this year. Yeah. So like Justin already said. Um, we are asking for a decrease. I'm sure that that's not very common when you get requests here. Uh, but we are trying to 
put more of these salaries onto our dedicated rec fee. So what that looks like is that this current academic year, we are paying five salaries from what we were funded uh, through this fee. And we are taking out the assistant director of fitness wellness. And so we're asking for you to fund four salaries instead of the five that we currently have. So that's the difference between uh, the two. So it is uh, with the salary and the benefits and everything, it is a decrease ask of about $58,000. So this year, we did not, or we will not be using all of the funds that we received, and that is because we had some vacancies. So my position was vacant as the director, and so that is a cost savings, and then we also had the assistant director of fitness and wellness position vacant uh, for a few months as well. So that will um, come back into that pot that is the student services fee. So just basically in summary, uh, this year we're asking for $271,000, whereas this year we received $329,000, um, and so it is a decrease. And I know that you want to ask, like, well, if you didn't receive it or if you received less than your ask, what would the impact be? And so that impact is basically looking forward to the future. So we are... Um, the Morris Recreation Center, we need an expansion of our space. And <clears throat> so basically that would look like it would be f further into the future um, if we're not able to put money towards that expansion. So, Oops. so that is what we have. We wanted to spend the majority of the time for any questions that you have. Uh, yes. uh, so how much of... Um, how much from the last uh, year, how much was uh, not used, and how much would be potentially rolled over this year? From those uh, salary savings? Yes. Of, yeah. So, um, well, I, I got it here. I did it when we were waiting. I'm expecting it to be around $60,000. Yeah, because of those vacancies. Mm -hmm. No, it goes back to students. Oh, okay. It goes back to students. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just means we didn't spend the money, and so you guys get it back. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.